This report focused on IMPD's role about what happened out here on Monument Circle, but it also says there are other leaders in this town who have a lot to answer for what happened on those nights in late May. When it was over, two nights of rioting left property damages of about $8 million, two people dead, more than 100 people arrested, and a downtown that still bears the scars of violence. The independent report commissioned by Mayor Hogsett found fault throughout IMPD for its lack of planning and poor communication among its ranks and with other agencies. FOP President Rick Snyder says that left officers in a fight for their lives with no backup. I would suggest that it was uh, leadership above them uh, at the very uh, uh, upper echelons of our, of our city. Uh, that were mitigating and diluting what it is that they had available at their disposal to be able to, one, contain the situation. IMPD Chief Randy Taylor and his top commanders were called out for a failure to develop a strategy to monitor and guide protesters. The report suggests IMPD should have kept more heavily armed officers in reserve as opposed to on the front lines. Interagency communication failures contributed to the chaos. Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears was faulted for not advising IMPD on what charges would be prosecuted. And the report found the mayor's decision to issue a curfew was not discussed with the prosecutor in advance. Snyder says the report does not answer his lingering questions about the mayor's role during the protests and subsequent riots. Where were you? What role did you play? Who gave the orders to the police leadership to, to repeatedly stand down? The report concludes, quote, the chaos and destruction cannot completely be laid at the feet of frontline IMPD officers who were unprepared and insufficiently trained. It wasn't our police that failed our city. It was our politicians that failed our city. Mayor Hogg said didn't want to go on TV today to talk about his reaction to this report. But in a walk around downtown last July, the mayor told me that he spent the first night of the riot at home watching it on TV and the second day, Saturday, in his office all day in a futile attempt to negotiate with protesters in the hope that they would go home by 7 p.m. And of course, that night, the riots turned even worse and deadlier. In downtown Indianapolis, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. All right, Russ, thank you. Now, we did reach out to both Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears and IMBT, IMPD Chief Randall Taylor for an on-camera interview today about their reactions to the report. They both declined our request. In the meantime, though, you can read the full independent report for yourself. We have it posted along with other interviews at fox59.com.